Oh, on again. I'm sure if it's a whiting. What do you think it is, Brad? Uh, yep, it is. It's a whiting. whiting. Yep, it is a whiting. Good one. Another one. Really good whiting. No, Brad, that was just, that was just sitting on the bait. Yeah, yeah I had a hit and, yeah, thought I'd missed it and then went to check the bait and it was just sitting on it. So, another really good whiting. That's a good one. Yeah, we get him in the esky. So guys, whiting quite often, if you just leave the rod there, won't bite. You've got to keep moving your baits and be active on moving it, whining it, just give it a little lift, bounce a sinker off the bottom, draw some attention, <coughs> a little puff of sand, yep. a little whine, and Johnny's on. Yeah, that's what I was, that was, that was And exactly quite often, it will be the opposite rod that you lift, one of the others will get hit. So I was, I was slowly dragging this off the bottom, just dragging it towards me. And um, this whiting seen it, and it's hit it. So, oh, I've just dropped in. Oh, oh did that one. So, I just lost the fish before. Did exactly the same thing. I'm hooked up again. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good fish. Right. I've yep. got, that one's going off. Oh. I don't know if I've got that rod. Or oh, it's actually a fish, another fish. I think it's another fish in that rod. So, this is a real good fish. I have got that rod. Yep. Yeah, it's actually it's actually smaller than what I thought it was, but it went really hard. So as Brad was saying, it pays to try some new tactics, try and get those fish on the bite a lot quicker by just um, creating that puff of sand by dragging that bait on the bottom or bouncing it on the bottom. And uh, this fish couldn't resist it. He went for it. Did he get a I'll look back out there. Guys, it pays attention to keep your eye on the rod. Johnny was just baiting up and I just looked over and seen his rod buckle and yelled at Johnny and, and he's on. Good thing for this was that it's got a circle hook on it, so it hooked itself. So we've got a quite aggressive bite at the moment. Like a good one, Johnny? Yeah. Oh, it feels better than the last one, but the last one felt good too, so I think it just feels great to be catching fish, that's all. <laughs> that's a good one. There you go. There you go, pinned himself quite well with that rig master circle hook. Couldn't resist it, so I'll get him in the esky and I'll get these two rods out. I'm gonna get a chance. And we're on again. Doesn't feel that big. But feel like a whiting? Yeah, it feels like a whiting, not a big one, but any whiting's a good whiting. I oh, know it's actually a little flatty. So, a bit small, he'll go back. Oh my god. It doesn't feel like a whiting. You know what? It, it is, is a just whiting. a small one. It's just a small one. So. Got it. There we go. Got this one. So he was just having a little bit of a bite. Got the hook up. Another good whiting. Oh, your garfish jumping out the side. Another real good whiting. Probably one of the most enjoyable fish to, to fight, actually, on like here. A good old whiting. Oh, oh she's a cracker. A well done, Johnny. And the last one. That's a good fish. That's a fat fish. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna get a nice couple of fillets out of here. Oh. <laughs> Add on another whiting. Doesn't feel overly big. But as I said before, any whiting's a good whiting. They're good fun to catch. He's a keeper. Another one for the tank. Yep, on again. Now I've been I've been working one rod or and nice one. having a circle in there. So this is where, this is one I've been working in. Another hook up, not a bad fish. That is four whiting, I think, if I've got one. Yeah, yeah. hasn't woken up yet. Now, here we go, there we go. Now Brad, looks like our plan our first plan to catch some um, 
nighttime whiting is going quite successful at the moment. Yeah, this, oh, 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 yep, oh, double. Go. Double. <laughs> On again. Yep, sure has. And so what are our thoughts? Maybe get a few more and go for a gummy? Nah, we're not gonna leave this red hot bite just quite yet, but I think we will go for a gummy. Once this bite slows down or we have enough fish. Yep. On again, this just absolutely buckled in the holder. Didn't have to do anything. Yeah, that one got nailed. <laughs> Full in the drag hole. in the holder. That's another good whiting. Great nighttime whiting. That's why we come out at night to get these big boys. You just hit that and then sort of backed off a little bit. Yep. And tension came back when I started winding in. And here we go. So those last three fish, Johnny, have come at the exact time I've been pulling on the pot, getting some burley out. Seems to be doing the trick. Bit of a coincidence, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Another good one. Yeah. I think so. We've got two on here. Sorry, I just grabbed Brad's rod there. <laughs> I think I've got a fish too. Unless you've got the same fish. Well, you're... Yours feels like a fish, mine doesn't, mate. Eh? Yeah, okay. okay. No, nah. maybe not. No, nah. okay. nah, two fish. Not two fish, well. Mine was a flathead. Yeah. That's about the only undesirable we catch during the night. Yeah, isn't it? yep, that's why we come out at night. As he mentioned in a couple of episodes ago, you don't get your toadies and your leather jackets still in your bait. Get them back in the water. So. Brad, we've had a cracking session this morning on the whiting. Yeah, definitely. Great session and some nice big ones. Yeah, they've been pretty, they went pretty well. So. We've decided to move up and anchor now. We're yep. anchoring a, bit, a little bit deeper. What are we chasing? Gummy shark, hopefully. Or specifically gummy shark, but we'll take any shark. Any yep. shark's a good shark. All right, and we caught some fresh bait as well. So we've got yep. fresh bait. We've got a, re a recipe to, to catch a gummy, hopefully. Yep, that's it. So we'll get some baits in. We've got about an hour left in this tide and see how we go. Yep. 